I'm Craig Sigal, the mental toughness trainer for youth athletes. And I specialize in helping youth athletes master the pressure to get to that next level in their sport. And I wanted to share with you four simple strategies youth athletes can use to master that pressure. So the next time they're heading into a highly stressful, pressure-packed situation, they are mentally ready and prepared for it. Strategy number one, they need to practice being in pressure in their imagination. So when they experience it in real life, they are ready. Before going to sleep at night or while daydreaming throughout the day, they should imagine being in a high pressure situation and coming through with flying colors. Pre-living in as much detail as possible how they want to be thinking at that critical moment of truth. They want to practice using positive self-talk like, I can do this. I'm a clutch player. I want the ball. Give me the ball. Imagine being intense but not nervous. Passionate yet calm. Strategy number two. They need to decide to focus on the physical aspects of the game that make them successful. And they do this by concentrating their mind on the keys to good skill execution and the game plan that the coach has designed. And they've got to stop thinking about winning and losing. You see, your mind's like a computer with a lot of computing power. And you've got to give it something positive to do. And this is what distracts it away from the thoughts that create pressure. Keeping the mind busy stops it from going negative on you. Pressure isn't real. It's something that you create from your thinking. It comes or goes by making a choice on what you decide to focus on. Keep your focus on your strategy, routines, and game plan to defeat pressure. Strategy number three. Master the fear by being in the present moment. Think about it for a second. Fear in sports does not exist in the present moment. It gets created by thinking about past mistakes or worrying about possible future failures. Anytime an athlete feels fear, they need to get into the present by directing their attention to their five senses. For instance, feeling the floor, the ground underneath their feet, hearing the noises in the room or the gym, seeing their teammates playing the game, using your eyes. It can be very powerful if practiced regularly. It can be done anywhere and anytime, and especially at crunch time in competition, and instantly you'll feel that pressure just fade away when you get in the present moment. Now the final strategy is to understand that it's an and world. Now what does that mean? It means that the athlete accepts what they're feeling and stops fighting it. So how do you do this? Why don't you say to yourself something like, wow, huh, look at that. I'm feeling some pressure. That's interesting. Well, I'm kind of curious about that. Well, guess what? I can feel this pressure and come through with a stellar performance. I can feel this fear and still do what I need to do to win. Now, all of us have experienced times in our lives where we felt scared and did it anyway. Well, saying the word and it allows your mind to just go with it instead of fighting it. Even the greatest athletes in the world feel pressure and they still go out and win while feeling it. You can too. So I hope you can now see how important it is to learn, develop, and practice your mental skills. Now these strategies will work, but to really see big changes in your athlete's performance, it's critical that they get this knowledge from their heads and into their bodies. And to make this happen, I created a special Master the Pressure guided visualization for your athletes. Let them listen before their next big game or event and watch their performance skyrocket. And just enter your email in the sign up box to get the guided visualization and get them started. They can listen to it on their computer, their cell phone, or their iPod, whenever and wherever it works for them. For you parents, I put together the 10 commandments to be a great sports parent. This is an ebook that gives you answers on how to talk to your kids after a loss and other great tips for parents. You and your athlete will also get a lot more mental toughness tips like this from me. So put your email in the sign up box and let's get started now. I'm Craig Sigal, the mental toughness trainer for youth athletes. Welcome to the winner's circle and let's master that pressure.